Hi, I'm Sarah Mean. Today we're sewing a camp collar. A camp collar is kind of unique. It has its own set of rules. It doesn't have a back neck facing or a way to clean finish it. It has front facings that you know hang loose here and yours can be a facing that's built onto the shirt on a fold right here or separate like this one. It may have a yoke, it may not have a yoke. It does not have a collar stand. It has a built-in roll just like this. And the other really defining characteristic about a camp collar is that you can button it all the way up just like this and the collar's gonna meet right there at the top. Unlike a notched collar where you really can't get it to button past this point right here. So I'm gonna be showing you a really simple, easy, guaranteed way to get a really nice finish with no fuss or no problem. You're gonna get a nice transition right here at the shoulder, look at that. This is how it looks on the underside. So we're not deviating in any way from the finished look of the camp color. We're just gonna sew it a little differently. I developed this method on my own. I don't think you've probably seen it before, but I really wanted to get you a nice, easy way to sew a camp color with no fuss and to get you a really nice finish that you're going to probably come back to again and again. So let's get sewing. All right, so this is where you're at in the process of sewing your camp shirt. You have your collar fully assembled, and if you want to top stitch around the edge, do so now. You can do so later, but it's probably going to look a little cleaner if you do it right now. And um, that goes for any understitching or anything. You'll have your facings, um, at least the shoulder finished right here. You can see I did a Hong Kong finish around the edge of mine, just because I'm kind of into that finish right now. But just so just at least have the shoulder finished right here and have these ready to go. And you want your shirt to be at this stage so your shoulders are done and your neckline is ready to sew for your collar. And if you're gonna attach a label, now's a good time to add that right now or um, if you're gonna put it down here on your yoke, you should have done that already before your shoulders were sewn. Our first sewing step is we're gonna sew our facings and our collar right sides together, so in a sandwich kind of thing just up to about one and a half inches past the edge of the collar. And it's gonna be really obvious in a second. So we're gonna place the collar in here and let me get you oriented here. So this is my shirt. So this is the back neck right here. I have my center notched. And then these are my fronts right here. And make sure that you have your notch here at the neckline where the collar starts and ends on either side. And then you're gonna to wanna to make a little mark about one and a half inches away from there. All right, so when we start sewing, we're gonna go all the way up, starting from the hem of the where the facing attaches here, all the way straight up the center front. We're gonna turn at the neckline, center front edge here, turn here, and then we're gonna stop sewing at that one and a half inch mark. And we have our collar in here. Our collar will be lined up at this red mark right here. You can pin all this first, that's fine. But we're gonna stop sewing through all of these layers right here at that mark. And we're gonna do so on the other side as well. We're gonna go up from the bottom up to that red mark on the uh, right side as well. All right, let's do it. All right, so we're getting this little area ready. So we're gonna pin our facing to the center front here. And then right here, we're gonna take the collar and you're gonna put the top collar face up. So the under collar, the side with under stitching, or maybe there's a little seam, the smaller collar, the one that's gonna be down against the garment, that's gonna go down right now. And we're gonna put the right side of the collar right here facing up. And we're gonna line up the end right to that notch there, the center front and we're gonna lay our facing on here. And now we're gonna sew up this, turn the corner and stop right there. Stop needle down, pivot on your seam line. Make sure your collar is lined up. I'm gonna unpin this just so I can look and make sure that my collar is staying lined up to that neck edge because the neck edge is a curve and the collar is usually straight. So we're gonna so along here and pull the collar over. All right, and then there's that notch back stitch. And now we're gonna repeat for the other side. And now we're not gonna sew the collar in between these two sides. So I know it feels probably a little strange, but it's gonna make it a lot easier in the long run. All right, so we're gonna line up our collar here and see how I'm, I'm lining up this collar edge down to, so it'll line up with the seam line there. So I'm gonna hold it there and now I'm just gonna pivot it 
kind of walk it over to that one inch mark just like that and we'll pin that just like that. All right, and then we can line up our facing on here to that edge. And we can start up here at the top if we like, that's fine. So have our pin, start here right on that seam line, whatever seam allowance you have. All right, and make sure that the collar raw edges stay lined up to the neckline. And we're gonna pivot right there along the front and go straight down. All right, so this is how it's looking right now. We've sewn our center front, the neckline, right up to that little notch right there and time for our next step. All right, so our next step is we're gonna clip right at the end of that sewing. So I want you to be pretty precise about this. If you're going to air air on the, just outside the stitching. So you can see my stitching goes right to there. I'll get rid of some threads here so you can see. So we're gonna stitch right up to the end of that stitching right there. Don't go past the seam or anything, just go right there. And we're gonna do the same on this side. Just like that, go a little bit more. We are gonna keep sewing, so don't worry. Okay, so now we're gonna pull apart this collar right here, just like this. My interfacing is kind of sticking to the other side. And we're going to sew the facing only to the collar. Sounds difficult, but it's really not gonna be hard. So we're just gonna peel this back here, just like this. And we're gonna sew right up to our stitching line where we stopped at the dot. We're gonna include the edge of our facing here. If you like turning it back, turn it down half the seam allowance amount, just a tiny bit. We want this to extend past our shoulder seam so then we can catch it in the shoulder seam and kind of tether the facing down to the garment so it doesn't you know, flip around or anything. All right, so um, I'm leaving mine completely flat because I finished that edge. And so we're gonna, and you can see my shoulder notch is kind of inside of the facing. That's great, that's exactly what we want. So I'm, I'm sewing from the facing only and the top collar up to this seam line that we've already sewn. Keep your raw edges together here on your seam allowance and go right up, just pull this back and sew right up to it. Very precisely, right? But it's not, it's not too hard. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So here we go, I'm gonna lay this on here, pull the collar apart. And I think this is easier to do from the collar side so I'm opening it up just like this. And we're starting right here where we stopped. Keep your raw edges lined up. You're gonna fold your facing back, fold it now. All right, and now what we're gonna do is the other side of the collar, we're gonna sew to our neckline. And same thing, we're gonna start at that st spot that we stopped sewing. So we're gonna peel it back and make sure you're keeping all those rows in the line. We're almost done, it's going really good. Just like that, so I got it started and I'm gonna kind of arrange everything here. So I'm gonna keep this collar out of the way. I'm going to line up my center back right here, put a couple pins in. Look for my shoulder notch, hope that we're close. And there we go, now we've got this all arranged. So let me show you what we got going on here. So you can see our facing, our collar is this edge right here. We're pulling this back and we're exposing this, the shirt under here, the neckline, and we're lining up the collar to the neckline, the under collar to the neckline. And we're gonna sew on our full seam allowance. And so just you know, take a peek, make sure you're not getting any tucks. You can probably tell I added a stay stitch to my neckline uh, because usually when I sew shirts like this, I'm using a much tighter weave of a fabric. And this is obviously very thready and open weave, and so it was getting a little away from me. So I added the stay stitch in there, which helped a lot. All right, and we're just going around all the way, making sure my, my uh, label doesn't get caught or folded back. And here we are, we're coming up, we're approaching the front. So this is the collar open, right? There's the collar seam facing, it's still open, but we're about to close it in just a second. And 
and I, you know, I'm gonna pull the whole garment like this, pull this so that I can kind of open this up and see exactly where I want to end. You're the boss, so just make sure you let it know that. And I'm exposing right where I ended my stitches right here. We're going right up to that, just like that. So we still have a continuous line of stitching. All right, now this is what we've got so far. This is the inside of our garment. Our collar is still open, you can see, just like this. And now we're gonna go over to the iron and do a lot of pressing. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press this seam into the collar. And this little notch right here, when we clipped into it right where we stopped sewing, that all needs to get pressed into the neckline. That's why we needed that notch there. So give that a really good pressing, pull on your collar a little bit, get it up there. All right, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna press other aspects of this. We're gonna press our placket. It's gonna give a good pressing. And I'm gonna trim around the corner at the center front here. And I'm just gonna trim around it, reduce some of this bulk so that I can turn it right side out. Just like that. I'm gonna stick my thumb in there and pop out that corner, just like that. We'll do so on the other side now. So keep pressing your plaque and get that in order and then we're come, gonna come right back up to the collar and get it ready for the last couple steps. So here we are up at the top and so you can see I've you know pressed my corner here and all the seam allowance that is up to this point where we stopped sewing on that very first step, that gets pressed down into this face and you can see it in there. Everything past that point is gonna go up into the collar. So this edge right here along the facing, so this edge right here along the facing after the clip, that also gets pressed into the collar. So you wanna make sure that you press that as well. So make sure all that gets in there right at that notch. You'll have like a little tiny uh, divot right here for the transition between seam allowance going that way and seam allowance going that way. But that's gonna calm down after our last stitching step. Okay, so same here. I'm gonna press the seam allowance into the collar. All right, and so now let's flip it over and check it out here. Just make sure there's no little wrinkles or anything like that that might cause us a problem. And we're gonna go to the machine and now pin it. All right, so now we're gonna pin this closed. And so what I like to do first is I'm gonna put a row of pins about, I don't know, a little over an inch away from this edge. So get your collar nice and flat. This is, this is gonna help any kind of like bubbling or torquing or any kind of um, lines that will, could be created if you don't get it pinned perfectly lined up one on top of the other. So we just put that little row of pins, that way when we pull on it, we're pulling from here and not pulling the collar and rolling it. All right, so now you're gonna tuck under this edge and line up your notches and get all the little threads inside all the raw edges and pin perpendicular to the seam because we're gonna be sewing right over our pins, if you like. And in here, we're gonna make sure all of the seam allowance here gets pressed into the collar right up to that clip, just like that. And same thing, pull that seam down. You know, be firm with it. Get a little tug here and there. Make sure everything's looking nice and flat. You know, I'm also checking to make sure this is all going to lay nice and flat against the body once it's all sewn. The curved neckline kind of, you know, distorts things sometimes, so it's really hard to tell. So don't start sewing just yet. We're going to do this in two parts, and it's kind of important we do it that way. All right, so let's look on this side and make sure none of our collar kind of bubbled down or... Um, blumped over the seam. So there we go. So we're gonna sew this in two steps. We're gonna sew on the inside of the shirt between the two facings here, and then we're gonna flip it and stitch in the ditch from the right side up to that point. So let's do our first one. And now remember, all of the stitching we're about to do, nobody's gonna see this because this is gonna be against your neck when you're wearing it. And on our next step, no one's gonna see that as well because the collar's gonna fold over it. And the collar's gonna fold over this one too. So, all right, so now we're gonna stitch this. 
You're welcome to start and do your whole neckline from the inside, but I find it to be a little um, nicer looking if I do this in two parts. So we're gonna just pull this edge right over that stitching line, stitch close. No need to clip your neckline because all of our seam allowances are poked up into the collar. The only edge that would benefit from clipping is the collar and we don't really wanna clip that. It'll make it, uh, the, the, it could cause more problems than help. All right, so here we are at the facing. Again, I'm kind of pulling that all the way, just like that. So now we have our collar, clip your threads. Let's check it out on the other side. And remember, see the collar's gonna fold right over that. No one's ever gonna see it. All right, so we can take out our collar pins if we like. So now from the right side, we're gonna stitch in the ditch to catch the, this little hole of the collar. So let me unpin this. So now we have just this little spot right here that we, we wanna catch that because we also don't want our collar to be kind of loose right here. So we just wanna stitch right here, just this little section. You don't wanna start from the beginning. Start where you can feel where we clipped it. And we're gonna stitch in the ditch and that means we're gonna pull apart the seam like this. I'm gonna stretch it apart, put my needle right in that ditch of the seam. And so, so you can go nice and slow. And again, the collar's gonna fold over this, no one's gonna see it. Just like that. And on the inside, yes, you might see it a little bit. It may land in the facing, it might land on the collar. Again, nobody's gonna see this. And let's do our other side. I'm gonna start sewing from the center front area and then go toward the center back. And if you've noticed both times, I'm sewing from the front toward the back. I'm gonna get rid of this pin just so I don't have to worry about it. I've made sure that all of my seam allowances are tucked up in there really nicely, or at least as nice as I can, because they're kind of messy too. And now we're gonna start at that little, you know, you can feel that little spot where we stopped stitching. Pull apart the fabric at the seam and stitch right in that seam. And then stop at the shoulder. And voila, there we go. Clip your threads just like that. And so the last step would be to secure your shoulder seams here. So if you have a cam shirt that doesn't have a yoke and you have a seam right here, like a raw edge or not really raw, but a finished edge of your shoulder, you can tack it to your shoulder or you can stitch in the ditch from the right side. I'm gonna do that on mine here, stitch in the ditch, even though I wouldn't normally on a yoke seam. Just to show you. So I'm gonna get all of this nice and flat. Make sure your facing is nice and flat. We don't wanna to torque anything on the inside of our garment. So look, I'm even gonna pull this like this, just so this is nice and flat. If you need to pin this facing to your shirt, go for it. Now I'm gonna pull apart the shoulder seam the best I can, and I'm just gonna cl clip the end of my facing there. and put a little back tap on the right side. and then it's caught, I barely caught my shoulder seam there, but now this is secure and it's not gonna go anywhere, just like that. And so most likely your seam is a poke past that or um, you've turned it under and maybe you catch it with a few hand stitches. All right, so let's check out our collar. Well, it looks pretty nice. What I love about this is that, you know, you can button your shirt all the way up like a traditional cam collar. You don't see any of our stitching, no matter how you wear this shirt. The stitch in the ditch right here starts way back here. So when the shirt's open, it's gonna be hidden in that spot there. And uh, when it's buttoned up, obviously you're not gonna see anything. And the other stitching is hidden right there under the collar. All right, thanks for sewing with me. Good luck on your cam shirt. I'm Sarah Mee, and check the description for more information. Don't forget to like and subscribe.